lot of pomp and circumstance. That was great. Hey, well, good morning. It's great to see you here today. My name is Danny Wiggins. I'm pastor at County Life, and uh, we are delighted to have you all here today. Our family and friends of these graduates. It's a big day. It's an exciting time, I know. Uh, County Life, we have been blessed to be a part of Faith Academy Homeschool for, I don't know the number of years. I have to check with Sandy sometimes, but several years. And uh, it's been a blessing. It's truly been a blessing to us to have families associated in this way. Uh, and to know uh, that you guys as families are committed to uh, raising your kids uh, in a way that honors the Lord. And so we're glad to be a part of that in whatever small way that we can. But we're glad that you're here today and uh, enjoy uh, this great celebration with you. Uh, let's pray as we begin. Father, thank you for your blessing this morning. Thank you for your presence with us. And thank you so much for these graduates. I know a lot of work has gone in to get them to this point. From them, from their families, and we just continue. That praise of how these families are. Your blessings, uh, not simply on this day, but on the future, uh, and know that through you, that future is right. Uh, but we thank you for all the work that's been done, the commitments made. Thank you for the joy of this celebration. We invite your presence with us here, and uh, we're excited for what you want to do in this place and in the future. We pray these things this day in Jesus' name. Amen. As Brother Denny's just said, it's such an honor to be a part of this graduating class. Uh, Ashley and Julie are part of our church, New Beginning Church, and we're so very proud of them today. <clears throat> we can actually say you made it. Y'all give them a round of applause. <clears throat> we look forward to those words, you made it, a, a lot. When we think about milestones in our life, we think of I mean, there's many milestones in our life. So I remember when I finished high school and I got married and then I had kids. And there's a many milestones in your life. And they finally made a major milestone in their life. I want to open up the scripture today. Many of you know Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the thoughts that I have toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Father God, we thank you for this day, God. We thank you for your word. Lord, I ask that you would speak through me today, God. Don't let nothing come out of my mouth that is not from you. Lord, I ask that we would just be able to lift this day up to you. And God, give them advice that they would go through the rest of their life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If I just have a few moments this morning, a few moments of your time, I want to talk about five things that will help you in the rest of your life. Five things that will help you throughout the rest of your life. I read the scripture, one of my favorite scriptures, Jeremiah 29, 11, because always remember God has a plan for your life. Always remember when you're going through, going through things, God has purpose. Even through pain, even through trials, God has purpose in your life. God has a plan. He has a future for you in everything you do. One of the first points I wanted to share is this. Don't settle for anything less than what God has for you. Even you out there, you remember when you graduated, don't settle for anything less that God wants to take you, that God wants you, place for you to go, that God wants purpose for you. Don't settle. Don't, when it's time for you to marry someone, don't settle for anybody less than God wants for your life. Because God has a plan. Sometimes we get out of God's plan because we miss God's timing. Number two, I want to tell you to chase your dreams. In the book of Genesis chapter 37, there was a man named Joseph, and he was a, he was a dreamer. And, and his brothers sold him into slavery because he dreamed, he had dreams. And he, he dared to believe in his dreams. Always chase after your dreams. Don't let anybody talk you down from your dreams. Remember that your dreams will become reality because God gives you those dreams. Whatever you go, whatever you may be, whether you be a veterinarian or, or a doctor or a lawyer or you're a school teacher or you're a stay-at-home mom or whatever it may be, God, have, you have dreams and don't ever settle less in your dreams. Joseph, in, this, in the story of chapter 37, his brothers could not stand him because they, they didn't have a higher quality of life. There's many people that can't walk with you because they don't want to go where you're going. You have a higher calling and higher purpose through your life. Always remember that. Chase your dreams. Number three, this is very important. Keep the faith. 
Keep the faith, uh, keep your faith in Christ through everything you do, every day of your life. First Timothy six twelve says, "Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on the eternal life to which you were also called, and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses." I wish I could say to you today that there's only going to be good things in your life, but I would be lying. There's going to be times of trials. There's going to be times of struggles. There's going to be times you, you want to say, you want to throw your hands up, and you're going to look at back at this day, and you're going to say, man, I wish I was back in high school. It was a lot easier than yeah. Some of these people that have been graduated now, five years, 30 years, and I'll keep my mouth shut <laughs> if I get in trouble. They, they look back and say, man, high school was easy. Man, there's a lot of other things in life that's hard. But I always remember, keep the faith in the good times, Keep the faith in the bad times. Keep the faith just every day. Start your day with prayer. Start your day with the Word. I, I tell our, our young people all the time, it's so easy to read the Word. We got, uh, we're in a world of technology. Every morning, my phone sends me an update. Your daily scripture. I read it. It's that easy. Start your day off right every day. Start your day off with Jesus. Remember, throughout your entire life, Jesus needs to be the center of it all. Through every decision you make, through every, everything you do, make Jesus the center of everything in your life. If you keep Jesus at the center of your life, everything else will become a lot easier. Yes, things get complicated. Yes, things still, life still happens. But when you have Jesus, you have hope. You have something to hold on to. Number four. Wait on God's time. Habakkuk 2 and 3 says, For still the vision awaits its appointed time, and it hastens to the end. It will not lie, for it seems slow. Wait for it, and it will surely come. It will not delay. There's all saying some things are worth waiting for. You dreamed this day, probably since you got started high school, y'all both dreamed of this day you're going to be on this stage, of this day you're going to walk. And now you're going to dream of new things, but there's also timing. There's going to be a time where probably both of you walk down the aisle to your husband that one day, and you're going to say, I'm glad I waited for such a time as this. There's going to be times if you become moms you're going to, and you hold your baby, you're going to say, I'm glad I have waited for such a time as this. Wait on the timing of God. A lot of times, many times in my life, I've gotten in trouble. Because I miss God's time. It's not that he didn't want me to do it. It's not that he didn't want me to go somewhere. It's all in God's time. It's just, we have to be patient. And I don't like that word sometimes. Patience in life is key. Because life will take you down many roads. Be patient. Because there's the right road you'll go down. And, one of the, and when you get to where you want to be, you'll say, I'm glad I waited for this time. And number five, enjoy life. Enjoy life. Today, you, you've worked so hard for the past 13 years of your life. You have worked hard for this day. Enjoy it. Go home and, and, and live in the moment of it. You know, so many times we get caught up in everything we do. We, uh, we as adults, we, get, we work and we, we, we got this to do and we got this to do. But we forget to enjoy the little things in life. Ecclesiastes 3, 12 through 13 says, I know that nothing is better for them to rejoice and to, to be in, the, in life. And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. I love that scripture. Today, God wants you to enjoy your labor, the fruit of your labor. All the, you think back of all the hard tests, all the hard work you put in, all the homework, all the times your, your parents said, you got to get the schoolwork done, and you didn't want to. It was for this day right here. There will be more work in life. But always remember to take time and enjoy life. I want to leave you with one last thing someone always told me. I had six points and I didn't realize it. Live your life for Jesus like you're going to die today. But plan your life like you're going to live forever. Make goals in life. And when you get to those goals, make more goals. 
And when you get to those goals, keep climbing. Don't stay consistent. Always be ready to go to the higher place. But live for Jesus like it's your last day. And you'll, you'll do many good things in life. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for being a part of this special moment in these graduates' life. Being a part of this special time of their life. Lord, that, that they will go to do big things that and, and your will be done in their life. God, we know that their future is bright. God, we know that you're the center of their lives. And God, we know that you're going to take them to many places. And when they get there, they'll, they'll just be like in a dream. But God, you have got naughty plans for their lives. God, we thank you for all the things that you do for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Academy, Julie Ivey and Ashton Ramey in the Napoleon Council.